All right, good morning YouTube. I'm starting the video today, the back of the car. So as you can see, I've got it up on my homemade ramps. And today's video is about gear oil. Specifically, gear oil uh, for the rear differential in the cars that have the limited slip rear differential. The reason I'm making this video is there is a common problem popping up. It seems to be primarily on the 2023 models, although uh, it seems to happen on some of the 22 models and jury's out on the 24 models. The problem is that the diff, the rear diff here will start to make noise sounding like a um, a rubbing sound, like a heavy rubbing sound, like a roo, roo, roo. And what that noise is, is the clutch plates in the rear differential are rubbing together unnecessarily. So it's a curious problem. Why has this come up with the, only the 23 or the later models and not the older models? Because this differential uh, has been used since 2019 in the G70 and earlier in the Kia Stinger. So it's a proven differential. There's no problems with it. It's, uh, it's a great differential. It works really well. But as of late, um, problems. So after lots of forum searching, talking to people on Facebook groups and uh, the Genesis uh, forum, it appears that the solution to this problem and the main cause of this problem is oil related, gear oil related. And so uh, we can sort of theorize that possibly what's happened is Genesis has changed supplier of their gear oil and that gear oil uh, is not up to spec for this diff. Uh, and specifically, so rear differentials, open rear differentials need regular gear oil and limited slip differentials need gear oil that has what's called friction modifier. And that friction modifier is put into the differential to allow the clutch plates to slip and not bind together. And so we think that is what's going on. The gear oil that is being used uh, in the differentials in the later models um, is not up to spec in terms of allowing the clutch plates to slip properly. And so they're binding when they shouldn't be and then prematurely wearing and getting louder and louder and then eventually a differential needs to be replaced. I am on differential number three. So I had the original factory differential making noise. Genesis replaced it. That one made noise. Genesis replaced it. And this one is, you know, roughly a couple months old. It started making noise. And so, uh, you know, from what we've uh, gathered, uh, this is a simple problem. Uh, and it's solved by, as I said, replacing the gear oil. Now, what did I do? So, I went out and bought some of this stuff here. AMS Oil Severe Gear Synthetic Gear Oil. Uh, and so this is a synthetic 75W90. I believe the a standard uh, specification for the car is 75W85, but... Uh, from everything I've read and heard, uh, the 90 is not a problem. Uh, high quality gear oil, and um, I'm combining that with four ounces or 118 milliliters of AMS oil slip lock, which is specifically the limited slip additive that you can see on the uh, in the red bar there. And that will allow the clutch plates to uh, slip properly. So I've gone ahead, I have um, remove the fill bolt and the drain bolt uh, on the differential. So for anyone who's going to try this, this is actually pretty easy. That is the drain bolt plug. And then up here is the fill bolt plug. They are 24 milliliter, sorry, 24 millimeter um, in size. Their foot-pound specification is 36 foot-pounds to 50 foot-pounds. So a uh, pretty easy job. I drained it into this pan. 
I wore, I bought some of these plastic gloves that they have available now. And uh, I think that sometimes this gear oil can be a little bit uh, bad for your skin. So I wore gloves doing it. Um, first step was to remove the fill plug so that when you remove the drain plug, uh, the oil can freely escape. Otherwise it gets a little bit of vacuum and can take a lot longer to come out. Um, and then what I did is I actually added to make sure I could get all of the slip lock in the friction modifier. I added this first and then after that I added the severe gear oil. Now the specification is that the differential takes 1.4 liters of oil. Um, that AMSOIL pack of gear oil is 946 milliliters which is pretty close to one liter and then the um, slip lock friction modifier is 118 milliliters so pretty close to or a little bit over one liter and then I had a second pack of the gear oil to make sure that I got it all in. I did not get 1.4 liters in I think that there was still some of the old oil left in the differential even though I drained it all but close enough um, and the reason I know it's full is because the top fill plug as I added more and more it started to um, drain out of there so I knew it was full so interestingly this should uh, solve the problem I'll definitely uh, come back to this uh, uh, video after here uh, well for you it'll be instant but uh, and I'll, I'll give an update uh, but by all accounts this should fix the problem uh, many people have advised Genesis that this is the issue as far as we understand it uh, however so in my case and other cases they've uh, just continued to replace the differentials at roughly four thousand dollars a pop so uh, you know, it's sort of understandable in a way you can't just trust a, what a customer says and they've got a process to follow, but uh, it's unfortunate because, um, you know, these are really well-made cars and sometimes they get the odd little issue and it really throws a bit of a damper on them because people think they're unreliable. And so something as simple as, you know, the wrong specification of oil and now we've got a problem where you know, we have diffs failing and people think these cars are unreliable, which they are not. So, um, I will end the video here and I'm going to take it for a drive and I will give you an update. I'm going to make another video uh, relating to different problems with the G70 and sort of uh, what causes those problems, what you can do about them, how many there are, and uh, maybe that'll help people who are looking at buying a G70 make a decision. All right, so if you hear any noises from your rear diff, this is 99% the solution, probably 99.9. .9. And uh, again, easy job. I'm no mechanic, but uh, easy, easy. Talk to you later. Okay, well, return from the test drive. And um, <clears throat> surprise, surprise, differentials completely quiet. So what you need to do when you take it for a test drive is give the friction modifier a bit of a chance to work into the clutch discs. Um, the limited slip uh, disc, the discs in the limited slip. And that probably the one of the best ways to do that is just drive them around. But also you can do figure eights um, or do circles one day way and then do circles the other way for a little while. That'll sort of help it make its way into there. But uh, my car is now completely silent so we'll see if that uh, stays we'll see if the noise comes back at all but I uh, have a pretty high level of confidence that we are good to go all right uh, join me in the next video we're going to talk about brake pads <laughs>